Do you remember, or maybe one before last, do you remember uh, a few days ago, a week ago, I don't know when it was, I did a, sh I did a segment on the show about Mark Andreessen's um, manifesto, his uh, tech, you know, pro-technology, uh, technology will make the future better, technology is great, technology is wonderful, technology is amazing, and this optimistic, just optimistic manifesto, I was excited by it. I thought it was wonderful. You know, uh, Mark Andreessen has written a lot of really, really good stuff uh, lately. And, uh, and he had this techno-optimism manifesto. And uh, I thought it was terrific and uh, consistent with a lot of the things I think I believe and I think many of you believe. Anyway, it turns out that uh, the press, in particular the tech press, hated his manifesto. Take a magazine like Wired. Now, why it used to be like, yes to progress. We love progress. We love tech. We love that the future's great. Startups are great. I mean, it used to be, it used to reflect this sense of optimism and positivism and excitement that Silicon Valley presented. But why it, I think, with some in Silicon Valley, has taken a bizarre turn, a bizarre turn. So when describing Mark Andreessen's essay, and I've commented on this in the past with other essays in Wired magazine, I used to read Wired in the 90s and 2000s. It was an exciting magazine to read. So it accuses Mark of being a merchant of progress. Now, what's the deal with merchant of progress? Merchant of progress are people who make money off of progress. How dare they? It, you know, writes favorably about Technology smashing, you know, Luddites. You know, it, 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 it ran a story on October 22nd, just a week ago. Everyone is a Luddite now. Right? A new history of the Luddites argues that 19th century fears about technology are still relevant today. It's the latest in a long line of attempts to reclaim the label. Yeah, this is, they give it a very positive review. Right? Uh, they even ran a story about, uh, about uh, Gaza being a, hub, a tech hub. This is the headline. Palestinians' growing tech industry has been literally blown apart by the war between Israel and Hamas. I mean, I, I laugh. I shouldn't laugh. But it, 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 it's pretty ridiculous, you know, really, budding, you know, this thriving tech industry that doesn't really exist. Um, So Stephen Levy, uh, 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 in the pages of, uh, of Wired, referred to Mark Andreessen's exuberance, along with all the industry's top venture firms, as examples of late-stage capitalism. This is the death of capitalism, the end. To quote, uh, uh, you know, uh, the purpose uh, of Mark's manifesto, according to this author, was to, quote, take your money, your vote, or your soul. That's what venture capitalists are about, taking your money, your vote, and your soul. And that's what the manifesto is about, this techno-optimism. It's about your soul. It's about getting you. Another magazine, Gizmodo, um, the, uh, the uh, tech optimism uh, manifesto uh, was a, quote, Unabomber-style manifesto. <laughs> um, and another author, uh, uh, wrote, quote, Mark Andreessen openly embraces this violent right-wing right -wing machismo that he calls techno-optimism. So now techno-optimism, to be optimistic about the future and about tech, is right-wing and machismo. And violent, by the way. It's violent to be optimistic about technology. That, that's inflicting violence on people. Fast Company, Financial Times, San Francisco Standard, Business Insider, Washington Post, all were just furious about how dare a capitalist actually express his view that the future is good if only we allow technology to help us grow our economies. He is a venture capitalist, after all, and that is what venture capitalists do. They express that sense of optimism in the investment that they make every single day. TechCrunch, 
Again, one of these bastions of pro-technology, pro-future, maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago. No more. TechCrunch quotes, uh, quote, when was the last time I could recently talk to a poor person? Really? That, that's relevant. Actually, sorry, the Gaza Strip story was actually written in TechCrunch, not in other places. So in other words, today, to be optimistic about technology, to be optimistic about the future, to believe in progress, to want economic growth, is violent, right-wing, it is exploitative, it is a way to control people's souls, it's a way to extract money from them, it's a way to exploit them. Having those views, writing them out, investing in the future. These people will kill, will kill the US economy to the extent that they get their way. They are, um, they are you know, anti humanity. They express views that are anti-human flourishing, exactly the opposite of what morality demands. They are destructive to human life. And the fact that this exists in, in Silicon Valley, the fact that this, these are technology writers, the fact that these are people supported by, supported by the tech industry, is really a sign that we are indeed in a kind of late-stage capitalism. We're, we're towards the end of this amazing run that the United States and the West have had. You can see that in Ukraine in the weak, pathetic response of the West. You, you can see that in Gaza with the moral equivalency and the turning against Israel that has happened. And, and I have one other story about that. Um, and you can see it in the fact in Greta and in the, 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 all the insanity, the, the complete, complete insanity um, of, uh, of, of climate change catastrophism and, and the demands that they make, the anti-human demands that they are making. Um, and you can see it here in Silicon Valley, in the heart of, of, of what is actually drives the U.S. economy forward. Without Silicon Valley, the U.S. economy is shrinking. Without Silicon Valley, the U.S. economy is nothing. Without Silicon Valley, whatever economic progress we've made over the last 30, 40 years would not exist. And in that, what used to be the epicenter of optimism, excitement, the thrill of producing, of creating, of building, a beautiful future, if in that, in the heart of that, this is the attitude, I just don't see how we get out of it. I just don't see how we're not, not in a place of steady, slow, but really almost impossible to reverse a decline. Truly horrific.